Got Ebenev, Vice President Lizer here. May 11th, COVID-19 Town Hall update. It's good that you can be with us all across Facebook Live land and social media land. Uh, welcome again. This is uh, our OPVP, Office of the President and Vice President. Uh, we uh, actually buy weekly update. So uh, as we always do, we get started with a word of prayer and then we hear from our great leader, Jonathan Nez, and then our health professionals as well, our great timely information and updates. So today is no different. Uh, we do have uh, pertinent information in which to pass along. So we'll do that right now. So if you would, join me in prayer. Like yeah, the end, God. Behold, Nehi, God, we give you praise. Thank you for another day of life. We pray that same life, Lord, would be extended to our people all across and that uh, the land in which you set us here, Father. We are still here. We are still a vibrant people, resilient, Lord, because you give us the ability to be resilient, to be healed. And even though some have succumbed, Lord, we thank you for their lives. We thank you for the families, Lord. We pray for those that are in mourning. Give them strength and comfort, Lord, and your mercy, mercy and grace extended to all the families across Navaland as you rid our land of this COVID virus, Lord. We thank you, give you the praise and glory for it. May you be with us on this um, update meeting, Lord, uh, and everybody receives information. May the people of the land be blessed, Lord. We thank you that uh, you order our steps. So we thank you and just give you the praise, honor, and glory. Be with us in this meeting uh, the, the wisdom and knowledge, Lord, that you given to us, Lord, expand upon it and uh, let the people of the land be blessed. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. in God. Well, at this time, I'd like to introduce our president, our great leader. Uh, we appreciate his leadership during this fight against COVID-19. Thank you, uh, President Jonathan Nez. Thank you, uh, Brother uh, Vice President for the prayer and the introduction yes, and uh, everyone who's watching today, folks from Herfano, New Mexico, and Lorena from Farmingdon, New Mexico, Lisa from Chinle, and Dana from Tucson, Flora Nisi, Chijba, that's all of you, somebody, or is it Chij, like wood? You know, sometimes you can't the uh, hyphens and the glottal and the high marks are not able to be put onto the uh, uh, comments here but uh, we got many people that are watching today so uh, uh, Heather from uh, just Heather Mitchell good morning as well and <clears throat> so we're, we're gonna do something a little different as you know you know that the case is are have been at an all-time low recently uh, yesterday uh, i know that our press release said you know you know over 30 cases i believe but it was split in two days um, the, the sunday numbers and the monday numbers were all combined uh, of course you remember sunday was mother's day and we didn't have a report available we wanted the staff to enjoy the Mother's Day, so that's why we put two reports out on yesterday, on Monday. So, just to let you know, um, and thirty thousand six hundred and twenty of our citizens have uh, contracted the virus, and we we updated uh, the recovery numbers, uh, but they're still coming in. So the recovery numbers as of uh, yesterday is 29,239 uh, recovered out of 30,620 who uh, um, have uh, caught the virus. And 1,285 uh, of our citizens have um, passed from COVID and again, our, our thoughts and prayers go out to their families. And uh, as you know, the families that are listening, uh, you know, it's tough and your hearts are broken. And sometimes you can't really concentrate on things. Uh, 
but other family members have assisted and, and supported and you throughout this time, including the Navajo Nation leadership. Uh, we continue to pray for, for you all. Uh, I just wanted to highlight the program under FEMA as well. FEMA has a program right now that uh, reimburses families if you have out of pocket, uh, outside of maybe what Navajo Nation government uh, assisted with, you can get reimbursed up to $9,000 for uh, any type of funeral expenses and we'll uh, have that link in the comment section uh, in a bit that's the FEMA burial assistance reimbursement and um, you know families help help each other out uh, this is a a resource uh, that's available uh, the Navajo Nation government cannot do it for you families you would have to fill out all the information to get that reimbursement so that help and the assistant is is available i wanted to remind our, our navajo citizens that fema has that program and so it, it gives you a breakdown if you see the powerpoint there it gives you a breakdown of uh, each uh, service area and if you go to the next slide again you just you see the progression now a lot of the information and data that we're receiving from the healthcare facilities here on Navajo and uh, the 638s self governance facilities when I say self governance it was like Tuba City Winslow Toy Medical Center and um, and others when I say IHS facilities that's like Gallup Indian Medical Center Chin Lee, Shiprock, Kayenta, and Crown Point. So that's the distinction. And there you go, uh, the comment section, the FEMA and COVID-19 funeral reimbursement is there uh, for you all to, to do. If you need some help, call, call us, you know. Um, but we encourage family members to help uh, the elders uh, to get uh, this um, support, this relief. But if you do need help, give us a call, 928-871-7000. Uh, um, but uh, we encourage families to, to help each other out to get through this. I understand that there's some uh, elders out there that don't speak English. We can help, but let, let's help each other out and, and help the families who, who have gone through some difficult times because of their loss. So you see the trend transgression from March of 2020. And you can see the weekend lockdowns once they are implemented. <clears throat> and then it completes 57 hour lockdowns have really brought the numbers down. And it seems like when we kind of lax our protocols, that's when you see an increase in cases once again. Then we got a lockdown. But what's different with right now? is that we have the medicine, the, the vaccine, and that's what kept, is keeping. I truly believe it's keeping our numbers uh, at a low rate. So again, you know, I just commend you. Uh, first of all, I commend God. Thank you, God, for helping us and a lot of prayers going into bringing these numbers down, all of our prayers, and thank the Lord for helping us in, in this difficult time, bringing these numbers down, and then for the Navajo people to adhere to these uh, protocols that have been put in place. <clears throat> so, Ayat en das legi, uh, each of das craigi ain't a din has a the milliage, double on the hot knocking as a din of on cutting over on a stay in it. So echo each of das crayat en das lay a conda. Layat en das legi a and it la cheese bits which end as tea and it la cheddar the tea or the ado or you, um, canal or deya. So ishing over to the zin or the ado con. So the Zimbabwe Navy in Kenya, uh, Kong, and Hitza, 
also wanted to mention too if you go to the next slide Eli it just shows the the progression of uh, the United States and the Navajo Nation two uh, lines the blue dark line is the United States throughout the entire pandemic you can see the the orange is Navajo I mean I'm sorry US I'm sorry that's right orange is Navajo you can see the two big bumps two big hills there if you want to call it that uh, the spikes in cases and then also the dark blue is the, the United States of America. And um, all time low. I, again, I truly believe it's because of the vaccinations. Vaccination. Now, if you go to the next slide, it shows you without the border, this border town numbers, these are just residents. You can see the red level, orange, yellow, and green. We're in the yellow right now. We transitioned from orange to yellow, but if you see the the late the numbers lately, and the data, the line is really close to green. But as you all know, we've been very cautious about our reopening, and so that's why we we are doing things very slowly here on Navajo, because you know we we don't want to see any upticks in cases here. I know some communities are seeing some uh, green zones, uh, counties going into green, uh, some even change some of their colors. But here on Navajo, we're going to take our time and reopen. Um, so right now, 50%, right? 50% of businesses um, capacity are open, churches. We also have uh, protocols for graduations are available only for high school graduations and college graduation. Matter of fact, Gannett College did an outstanding job. I want to say thank you to uh, the president of Gannett College, um, Monty Russell and the board. Uh, they, they followed the protocol. They split the graduation. They had two graduations, uh, 50 or less of the students, and then they had um, guests up to two but they also live streamed it for the family members that were not able to be there in person it was outside that's a requirement outside only um, 50 students at a time for each graduation and 
uh, a limited amount of uh, family members to be at the in person. And uh, I, th I thought they did a, a real model uh, graduation. Uh, we also have those requirements. If you go to the next slide there, Eli, uh, comparing the U.S. to the Navajo Nation in terms of vaccination, United States, 329 plus million uh, people or total doses that have been uh, sent out to all the states and territories. Uh, 259 plus million have been given and 79% of what went out to the states have gone into the arms of uh, the United States. So that's the blue. Now, before I go any further on the blue, let's go to the green side. Now, the green side is the Navajo Nation. They're 247,165, and then this is as of May 9th information. Uh, 247 have been given, two, 247,000 have been sent out to the Navajo area IHS, that's the 638 the IHS um, here on the Navajo Nation, uh, Gallup and Winslow as well, NACA, Utah Navajo Health System. Um, 226,819 have been given out of that 247,000. So what has gone and given, the shots that have been given, 92% of what we received. And we, we are now in the process of advocating for more vaccine doses. Why? Because the FDA has given approval for the 12 to 15 year olds to get their shots. But it's not a done deal yet. Um, but it sounds like, you know, once FDA gives approval, it usually uh, gets approved by the Health and Human Services and then it goes to IHS. IHS will give the green light. And so listen out for that. Could be late week this week or early next week. I know that there's uh, many of our parents out there wanting their young uh, children, students to get the vaccination. They're voluntary again. That's up to the parents, up to the, the student as well. Now, if you go back to the U.S., the blue one, where that blue, light blue shaded area is, it says number of people fully vaccinated. That means two shots of Moderna or Pfizer or one shot of Johnson & Johnson. Throughout the country, 114 plus million people have been fully vaccinated. Now, the percent total population fully vaccinated in the United States of America is 34% population that's uh, adult population eight, ages 18 and 18 and over fully vaccinated in the united states is 44 percent and that's the blue u.s um, category now let's go to the navajo nation now the green the light green box there it says number of people fully vaccinated that's a we just passed a hundred thousand last week hundred thousand seven hundred eighty three of our Navajo citizens have been fully vaccinated, two shots uh, or one shot of Johnson & Johnson. Now, the part that I'm going to mention is percent total population fully vaccinated. That means all the Navajo people that use our health care facilities. You, you know a lot of people live off the Navajo Nation and they go to the IHS or the 638 to get their health care but they don't live on the Navajo Nation. So this is what it's included. That's 42%. Now for the eligible population fully vaccinated uh, is 55% utilizing the user population. So that means there's 240,000. When I say user population, that's 240,000 charts on the Nav or Navajo Nation uh, facilities that includes Gallup and Winslow as well. So 55% fully vaccinated. One percentage that is not up here, and our healthcare experts are getting the exact number. Last week I announced that we're over 70% of our Navajo residents, people living actually on the Navajo Nation, right? 
uh, that use the healthcare system that live on the Navajo Nation were over 70 percent uh, total vaccination dead. I mean, that means two shots of Pfizer, two shots of Moderna, one shot, one shot of Johnson and Johnson. Now you always hear this phrase of uh, um, this phrase out there. Um, I just spaced it out. The um, there you go. And 70 to 80 percent of people getting fully vaccinated is herd immunity. You know, some people say, "Well, that's not right," but you know, I, I hear right now on the Navajo Nation, I think we're we're at. Uh, we're close or we're even at uh, herd immunity, especially if we get an updated on uh, numbers at 70%. Our goal, again, I'm, I'm challenging all of us out there, 75% of our Navajo citizens to be fully vaccinated here on Navajo, then we can begin to reopen our nation to our visitors. But, but you're going to still have to wear your mask if you're selling out there jewelry or doing tours, you're going to still have to wear your mask. The visitors still have to wear their mask. You know, we're just being very cautious. I know that uh, during this time, our economy relies on the tourists and, uh, and our visitors. But let's, uh, let's reach that goal. And it's only going to increase, especially once you open the shots, uh, the vaccines to uh, 15 to, 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 I'm sorry, um, 12 to 15 year olds. Uh, you know, we're, we're just going to increase even more. So the next uh, slide there, Eli, uh, basically gives you an overview of where we're at uh, throughout the United States and around the four corners. Colorado is starting to see a big increase in cases. Uh, so if you're in that area, just recommend that you just stay home, hunker down, don't come home for a bit. Um, or traveling, we just advise that you just be very careful. Don't go um, wear your mask and all, all that. You know, look at the uh, Colorado is the second in COVID case increases throughout the country. Michigan is number one, then Colorado is that top red if you can't make out the um, the uh, graph there. Uh, the next uh, one is Utah, way down below Utah, right under South Carolina. Uh, and then New Mexico and Arizona back to back. And then Navajo Nation is the yellow. So keep up the good work, Navajo citizens. Keep that number low. Don't the only one, only states that are under us that have, are even uh, more improved um, numbers than us is Hawaii, Mississippi, Oklahoma, California, and Alabama. Let's get down to the bottom of that list, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the next slide here um, is regarding the variants. Now, we haven't given an update on variants lately, but we did get some information. And this is as of May 2nd. So this is the report number two. Report one, we gave you um, an update on the variants. There's the UK variant. There's the South Africa variant, the Brazilian, the California variant that is all around the world. We did let you know that the UK variant is in the United States. It's in every 50 state and uh, every, to over 200 jurisdictions now. And then the California variant is prevalent in the Southwest. Now, if you look at the um, B117 category, the UK variant, it was, these are, remember, these are random samples and we haven't had a lot of numbers lately. So um, not, not all the um, people that are being tested positive uh, are being monitored for these variants because we're just such at a low daily case count. But if you look at B117, the UK variant, Chinle, there has been six reports, Gallup, eight reports, 
Shiprock 3, Tuba City 4, and that's overall 21 cases. And, and again, the UK variant is the, the one variant that is prevalent, that is all over this country. So of course, you know, it'll show up, I'm sure, uh, everywhere, including in that one issue. Now the next one is the B1351, which is the South African variant. And right now, no soft South African variant has been identified through these random samples uh, here on the Navajo Nation. P1 is the Brazilian variant. And there has just been one case reported in the Utah Navajo Health Systems. Um, and that's uh, from Brazil. Uh, the B1427429 is the California variant. You got one in Chinle, three in Gallup, five in Kienta, five in Chabrot, three in Tuba City. That's 17. And again, California variant is in the Southwest. So the 39 cases reported of these variants here on the Navajo Nation. But let me just let you let you know that most of these cases have been uh, monitored, no spread. Uh, kudos goes to our contact tracers for getting these interviews done and keeping it from widespread here on Navajo. So let's continue to pray for uh, for that. Keep those numbers down. Uh, and we appreciate the healthcare workers here on Navajo. And the last thing I just want to update you all uh, is. Uh, the graduation protocols, I mentioned that earlier. We'll uh, talk a little bit more about that. Just a reminder, we did have a, uh, a town hall type with all the schools, letting them know what the protocols are for graduation. Again, only outdoors, only high school graduation, only college. But if you want to do promotions, eighth grade promotions or Head Start, you, you can do drive through with vehicles um, or part uh, events and we'll, we'll bring that to your uh, attention soon uh, in this uh, town hall again Pfizer uh, 12 to 15 year olds FDA gave approval yesterday and it will probably be coming soon and we'll, we will announce that to everyone when it's available for our young younger uh, people and my, my son who's 13 years old is excited and to to get the, the the shot as well so you know we all have children that are uh, getting the vaccines that are above 16 years old and now under 16 years old will be up to 12 we'll have that opportunity to get the uh, the vaccine so that that's going to be our update uh, Edo Nalsos Adelia Ado E ya Le Nakizata and the Istragi Deya Le Old Graduation Baadat Edo Les Ladini Ako Se B Ast A Eighth Grade Gia E ya Dota Dobat Edo Les E ya graduation so, a good donut, so she gives him to just on a dark net on it. Do what Donna don't lay a washing don't let him his own net. Shot Kodobanda, who's an American Rescue Plan Act. A beso could don't he could let him in a current aja hal chish a co a behazani gin beso chuto chadon in higina not so stop a craggy in hichikodania. A co nihik at had the yagi at the net. Navajo Nation uh, enrollment the Klinigia Ekad Nik Enihid Nad the Quila and Elta La Queen Zinia 
ako di person ki je kodalia hardship ha nigia sa kon ki keni ki na sa hadatilia cip go in rome nigi ba chinda hadatilia ako kad ene ene te gia de nani klinigi e tra nes na tin do ba na hast e na hast e tin tra Nez not din doba on a hast a nast a din doba on a hast a the meal yaj an elt or doba la. Can I din nez not din the meal yaj any la see cleaner than any cleaning? So even not your age or deep Kaddish clinging in clinging, but see clinging in clinging a larger con than any clinging to a cut. La si clean. So even not a ya a hot ashing person he did it at all that lady a hot natcha had a biliadi. So a she only his bells and all this though. A to bells, bells, and the bequilla and elt or person he jacob net. A she is his own now in his arms generated net or this. Ado, a late our each don't in it. So Trodo basically she nascodo nisli hat na jo e shi e a a bin de na so e on spans in the chicken of thing so we just want to conclude i want to conclude my version uh, arpa monies are coming i'll let vice president talk a little bit about that and um, appreciate the prayers appreciate everything that each and every one of you are doing you know it's because of you uh that these numbers are down and let's continue to pray to our creator that we will um, get through this pandemic by working together, by continuing to work together, just like our ancestors worked together throughout many of the trying times in our history. And it's now our turn, the younger generation, this generation, to follow through on our teaching and our way of life, uh, that teaching have, that has been given to us uh, from our parents and our grandparents. So Hadainosness, stay strong, be strong, and we will get through this pandemic. So God bless you, and God bless our great Navajo Nation. Turn the time over to our Vice President, Myron Lizer. Thank you, Vice President. All right, thank you, Mr. President. Appreciate the updates. Uh, again, appreciate your leadership there. Um, real quickly here, I'd like to give an update, and then I'll, I'll, I'll talk on the... Uh, our uh, the American Recovery Plan, as we had received some updates yesterday from BIA and the uh, Department of the Treasury. But uh, just as President was mentioning, uh, the uh, soon rollout of the uh, vaccines for the adolescents uh, ages 12 to 15 years of age. Um, yesterday, there was some uh, USDA had uh, expanded the emergency use and granted the E what we call the EUA for the Pfizer uh, COVID-19 vaccine for those age groups. And there was a, uh, I guess, a small sampling, 2,260 participants between the ages of 12 and 15 who had received it and uh, no uh, great issues, side effects, no great problems. But, uh, you know, you know, the science is guiding the evaluation and decision-making process here. Uh, the FDA can assure the public that uh, this is ready for that the segment, that age group here in this fight against COVID-19. So I uh, appreciate uh, the information that they pass on down and we of course pass it on to you. So I am the Vice President, Comanche Nishle, Tohana Basis Chin, So Comanche Deshache, Asha Deshanelli. It's good to be with you all here this morning. Uh, real quick update from Arizona, as I always do. Um, Last week, the reports of the Arizona daily positive cases, uh, the average is rising. As you know, our health professionals look at seven day moving average, 14 day moving average, but uh, that average is rising in, in Arizona. 5.3 million people have received the COVID-19 vaccine. Uh, doses, uh, 2.5 million of those five. Uh, there was a new variant that was first discovered in India. The, as President mentioned, the B point has been found in Arizona yesterday. Um, reports uh, said that, like other variants being tracked, the B that of one or point one six one seven variant appears 
to spread faster and can possibly evade some antibodies. So even if you've got the vaccine, this new variant, if we're not careful, could, uh, uh, I guess, not recognize that and then overcome those uh, the antibodies that we do have in our bodies. So just continue to be careful and mask up. I know some states are open, some cities are open, and you'll get those differing messages out there. But really, it's down, down to your own uh, responsibility, self-responsibility for you and your family, as we all know that we don't want any more uh, deaths to occur. We don't want any more positive cases to occur. And uh, the rest is just, uh, you know, again, uh, mitigating. Uh, we as leaders, we have to exaggerate the message to affect the, um, and when I say exaggerate, I don't mean uh, lie or give false truths. I mean to uh, enhance the message, go out of our way to just reach the last person that uh, seemingly, you know, uh, uh, illustratively uh, doesn't receive or they're ignorant, right? How do you get past the ignorance? of, uh, of uh, mankind and uh, again, exaggerating our message, going out of our way, using all the media, using print, using radio, TV, um, billboards, social media and, and the like. So uh, that's really where we're at now to affect uh, the least of those that's, you know, again, uh, hard to reach, uh, ignorant, um, um, just out in the farthest reaches, they don't have access to internet or even TV or radio. So it's just uh, kind of what we need to do as leaders. Uh, total positive cases in um, Arizona. Actually, that can't be right. 16, no, it's not right. Uh, new cases, 642 new cases in Arizona. So we're seeing still some high numbers there. Uh, Apache County, um, 11,358 with six new cases. So uh, we have a uh, stand down on it. We just need to continue to be vigilant out there. Navajo County, 16,297 in the last year and two months with eight new cases. And uh, lastly, Coconino County, 17,851 with 10 new cases. Uh, New Mexico, 60% uh, of uh, eligible New Mexicans have received their first COVID-19 vaccine. 48% of those eligible are fully vaccinated. So as health officials estimate, the state could reach 60% by the end of June. Uh, total positive cases in New Mexico, 199,091 with 570 new cases. As you heard from our president's update there, it looks like Arizona and New Mexico are kind of uh, just closely um, uh, related there with uh, new cases. Um, San Juan County, 14,960 total for the year and 154 new cases. So we do see a spike going on in San Juan County. Those of you who are headed there, uh, please uh, remain vigilant, uh, maybe even avoiding uh, travel there uh, to that area. Uh, McKinley County, 12,273 uh, for the year. Uh, new cases, 14. So a slight uptick on that one uh, for Gal McKinley County. Utah. A uh, total of 2.3 million have received the COVID-19 vaccine, and Utah's seven-day average of positive testing is 333 daily. Total positive cases, 4, 400,559 with 207 new cases. Uh, San Juan County, 1,903. 1, they don't have any update for uh, new cases and our Utah Navajo Health System 1,095. Those have been kind of hovering right around the same, no real uh, great number of surging going on. Um, so they continue to, to play it pretty safe by wearing masks and limiting travel. But we all know that masks work. Uh, we appreciate uh, everyone that is wearing masks. Uh, continue to wear your mask and uh, limit travel. Um, you know, we, we, we've learned, uh, you heard President and I talk about how if we have to, early on in this pandemic, if we have to be isolated, if we have to quarantine, you know, the, the time that we do spend alone in our homes, uh, uh, limiting ourselves from uh, activity, then let's become the better for it. Let's become better, uh, you know, read readers, let's read books, let's get ahead, let's study harder, uh, work harder. Um, you know, within the realm that we are protecting ourselves. Let's uh, become better uh, relational-wise, right? Uh, 
heal relationships, uh, offering, extending um, your uh, apologies, right, to some of our estranged family members. Let me, this has led to some of the uh, problems that we've had with mental health. Certainly, it's, 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 it's grown. You know, the, those that need to be able to talk to others, uh, there's a great need to heal, bring healing, provide healing, um, even within our own human element, our human realm. Uh, you know, even though we um, do seek our creator God's uh, guidance and uh, uh, grace, right? Grace is uh, the, the forgiveness of sin. God's grace is the forgiveness of sin. We all can access that through him and be forgiven of our sins. I, I think too, as well, we could provide that kind of grace to those of us that we're, we're dealing with all across our, our land here. Uh, people do need to hear us uh, offer apologies, extend apologies, even you know, start new communication again from estranged family members or friends or neighbors and whatnot. But it's really just providing an access for healing to come healing, you know, because you don't know if, if it's somebody you're not talking to and you haven't talked to for a long time, maybe months or years, and you know you should, but who's going to be the first person to make that attempt, right? Well, just do it yourself. Uh, today's the day of salvation. Today's the day of healing, right? Or this very minute or hour, this is the time not working up to that, you know, because I mean, that day will never come with that kind of attitude, with that kind of uh, condition of our mindset, you know, always live humble and kind kind lives um, humbly you know because we're uh don't know how many days we'll be given we don't know if we'll be here tomorrow right i mean god's grace uh says that we will live you know for a long time and be blessed but we don't know that and so we have to live our life like we you know uh, could conceivably not be here tomorrow and that's what keeps the the, the love and their faith growing is you have a great hope and you're always seemingly pursuing that and you're always glued to it kind of like a moth you know that's attracted to the the fire the, to the sunlight to the um the lights at nighttime the moths are attracted to that so we're always pursuing something and we know it's good that's why we pursue it we are attracted to it and so when we uh open ourselves up to other people and seek forgiveness this opera apologies uh that just creates healing and uh, which kind of took me down this this uh subject of um behavioral mental health it's a lot of our family members who have been isolated you know uh, could use our help our hope maybe even our faith right some of us have a little higher levels of faith because scripture says that there's lack of faith which means no faith then there's little faith and then there's great faith the kind that even Jesus marveled at, you know, I'm thinking of the woman who reached for the hem of his garment and she wanted healing so bad. She fought through the crowd and she was just determined in her mind to seek that forgiveness and that healing and God's grace. She was attracted to it, much like the moth to the light. We just had to have it. And so she reached out, touched his garment and poof, she was made whole. She was restored. And it was her, her, her faith that, that brought that on. So again, there's some faith that even Jesus, who touched me, made him marvel. Can you imagine making Jesus marvel? Yeah, yeah. We should all aspire to have that kind of attitude. So, um, but I appreciate this time to have spent with you. I have been uh, pressing in. I've been praying, and uh, you know, I'm not perfect and. President and I are not perfect, but we just know where we can go for power, for uh, uh, wisdom, for guidance. And uh, that's how we've uh, kind of led our lives in this fight against this pandemic. You know, we believe that God can heal. We work like it depends on us, but we'll pray like it depends on him. And then I think there's an opportunity for faith to just grab hold and, and take us to that next level. And as leaders here, we do need all of that. We need all of your prayers and we need to overcome all the things that uh, our nation has fought over the years right and so when you see a lot of money this, this is unprecedented uh, i 
I would imagine leaders of the past are probably saying, wow, you know, <laughs> wish I could have been a leader of the Navajo Nation, you know, and have all this money come. This is what I would do. I imagine we're all there, but, uh, you know, we do work very, very hard, President and I, and all our leaders in our 24 Navajo Nation Council delegates to uh, seek the input and guidance of the grassroots, because at the end of the day, it's really why we're here. Uh, you put us here and we work so hard to help uh, bring change to the Navajo Nation. And if change isn't happening, then you get frustrated, right? <laughs> and then we're not here. But ultimately, I do, and I know President does, we seek our Creator's guidance. And if anything is going to change, it's going to be because he brought that to us, that you all were affected you're on your knees, you're praying, you're, you're, you're seeking forgiveness of your neighbor, you know, and when we all kind of have one mind, one accord on blessing the Navajo Nation, I think that'll come. And so um, I don't want to say I didn't know that this was going to be what I was talking about, but I certainly am moved by when, when God has a message and uh, love to make myself available for when he needs uh, to say something. And so really it's, it's that. The faith that we can have can be grown. Any faith that you all have out there, on the netra. This again, our Creator set us here. We're still here. There's a reason why we're still here. Our prayers are powerful. How do you access those? Well, by faith. And we pursue God and His forgiveness because of grace. It's there for everyone. Everyone, even the least of these. I say that I'm, I'm not saying that people are the least. I'm saying that you all sometimes say, well, I've done so many bad things in my life. I can't access God's grace. <laughs> yes, you can. He said he'll leave, never leave us, nor forsake us. So as we stamp out COVID-19, we give him the glory and we work like it depends on us. We continue to mask up. We get our vaccine. We stay safe and uh, we keep our elders alive and we seek enhancing our lives, becoming the better for it and uh, become better sons and daughters, becoming better parents, better employers, better workers. We work as if we're working for the Lord. And uh, I hope that your faith could be the kind of faith that makes even Jesus marvel. So I think there's a lot of you out there. If that's your sole desire to just uh, impress God, then that's you're going to be in the, the best place. It's not by sacrifice. It's by obedience. That's what makes God, our Creator God, move and work on your behalf. And um, that's where I think that that's where our hope is when we can say COVID-19 be gone be rid from our land, heal the landlord. I believe he's done that and is doing that. And we'll continue to do that and make a way for you because it is his grace. That's who he is. So I appreciate this opportunity to be able to just let you all know that, uh, you know, President and I would continue to pray for you, first and second lady and uh, all our leaders, because uh, that, that's what we want for you, our citizens all across the Netah. And so Shedina, you are blessed and highly favored. So at this time, I'd like to bring on uh, Del Yazi. Dr. Jill Jim is not available. And uh, Del Yazi from our uh, epidemiologist, our epi team, is going to be able to give you some updates. And then he'll introduce Dr. Burridge here very shortly. So Del Yazi, we thank you for standing in the gap here. Uh, appreciate you and look forward to your updates here. So ladies and gentlemen, Del Yazi of our uh, NAVO epidemiologist epi team. Take it away, Del. Okay, thank you, uh, Vice President. Um, hello, everyone. Yat A. Uh, my name is Del. I am uh, with the part of the epidemiology team for COVID for Navajo Nation, and I also have uh, my my co lead, um, Dr. Amanda Burge, on the call as well. Um, she's she might provide some comments um, after I go over the GD metrics here. Um, uh, President Nez already covered um, a lot of the, the data that we generate um, every day. And I'll just uh, mention, uh, I'd like to mention briefly, like, like, you know, there's, we have a huge uh, epidemiology team um, focusing on COVID on Navajo. And we probably have about, I don't know, about 30 people 
from various um, entities who are all on our team and very we all focus on on different um, uh, indicators uh, for for COVID across Navajo and and you know president goes over you know the cumulative number of COVID cases on Navajo which were at about 30,600 cases throughout the pandemic and this is our uh, about our we've been over a year like maybe our 15th month um, collecting data on cases and then also recovered cases president went over that too and also deaths uh, from due to COVID and we collect all that information um, every day and we have a line list that continues to you know um, grow every day as new cases and new deaths and new recovered cases and other numbers come in and we work with you know our IHS uh, colleagues uh, facilities and also our state partners from Utah Arizona and New Mexico where you know we uh, compile all the Navajo um, cases, Navajos that live on the res and Navajos that live off the res and off the res meaning like you know border towns or metropolitan areas um, and also those we you know that actually live on on the nation and then we try to stratify them by you know by age by gender which service area which IHS service area that particular person you know resides in and also sometimes we can also go further down to the chapter level which chapter an individual case resides in so those are the ways uh you know we collect information and there's as i mentioned there's probably about 30 of us that do all these things every day and including weekends so that's where our the report comes out every day and we share it with our HCOC um, team, uh, the lead Navajo Nation leadership. And that's how they're aware of what's going on on Navajo. So I, I like to commend our this 30 person team that I just, you know, mentioned to continue to do this epidemiology work. And it's important information and uh, shared with our, our people and others for, for their own information. And so, so I just uh, extend my gratitude to, to the entire team. Um, so with having said that, um, so you see on the screen, hopefully, um, I'm sharing, this is our gating matrix. And of course, we are currently in the yellow level our numbers, current, our current numbers put us in the yellow um, level, um, which means it's a moderate community spread and moderate disease risk um, on the nation. And then on the far left column is our gating indicators. These are the indicators that we look at every day and every week. And we compile all the information to see which, which color we fall into. So we just went from orange to yellow a couple of weeks ago, and our current numbers continue to put us in yellow. So, um, so I'll go to the next part of our, our, our gating uh, matrix, or uh, metrics is our uh, cases. These are COVID cases that, I think President showed this um, in his presentation. So I'm just going to go over it very quickly. This is our um, smooth line by cubic spline method from January 1st of this year to all the way to um, May, May 6th, last Thursday. So as was mentioned by President, we've been on this uh, plateau uh, for from middle of March all the way to now. So for about a couple months, um, we've been on this plateau of seeing low numbers, and this is the, the longest time 
we've been on this plateau throughout the pandemic. So um, it's a good sign and hopefully we'll continue to um, go down and eventually into green I, is what we're hoping. So, um, and then our infection rate, you know, the RT um, is currently at 1.1, um, but the average, uh, a seven day average is actually 0.96. So we're around one um, as our infection rate currently. And then the number of new cases per 100,000 population over seven days, I should mention this time period is uh, April 30th through May 6th, that seven day time period. Uh, the data I'm going over is, uh, that's what it represents. So this is number of new cases per 100,000 over those seven days. So, um, we saw an increased number of cases in Kienta area uh, and even Shiprock. I know um, I think President mentioned that there's a, um, the San Juan County of New Mexico is currently seeing an increase in cases of COVID and they're in the red uh, status with high disease uh, or high risk of COVID. So we're continuing to monitor that area of the nation we're seeing a lot of cases over in the Shiprock service area, like I think Hawback and even Shiprock itself in Upper Fruitland. And then a couple of border towns, you know, Farmington, Kirtland and Waterflow. All those communities up in that area in San Juan County are, um, we're beginning to see some increase in cases within the past week. So uh, we're just continuing to monitor, monitor that. Uh, and then I'll go to this map um, president also uh, covered this as well. So sometimes it takes a moment to, to load. So you just have to be patient when we do this tableau. So here we go. President uh, already covered this map here. Shiprock service areas and this darker shade of brown, meaning that the incidence rate over that seven day time period is over 100 cases per 100,000 people. So they're uh, I think a lot of it is due to the, what I mentioned about San Juan County up there. Um, and so, and then there are other IHS service areas, uh, Gallup and Tuba um, are the only ones in the, the next um, shaded brown color here representing 50 to 99 cases uh, of COVID or with um, over 100,000 uh, people. And then Winslow is the only service area that's in this, uh, they didn't see any cases, so they're in this, um, the, the real light shaded brown, representing zero to nine um, cases per 100,000 people. And then chapter wise, there's like 13 chapters that are in this um, uh, over 100 cases uh, per 100,000 people over a seven day time period. And I'll just quickly hover over them. This is Shanto, this is Kienta. Uh, this is a uh, Kachi Blue Gap. This is Sanasti, Shipra, Hotback, Upper Fruitland. And then this is a uh, Ganado, Church Ultra, Taya Tro, Ayuri Canyon, Church Row, and Baka Pruitt. Those are, I think, 13 chapters that uh, we saw an increase in cases. Um, from April 30 to March, oh, I'm sorry, May 6th. So uh, the next tab here is testing. Um, our test, this orange line is the percent COVID positivity. So as of May 6th, last Thursday, our percent positivity is 4.68%. So that's, um, we've been hovering around there for, for, for quite some time too. And then the testing volume is at about 323 tests being conducted every day on the nation. And then hospital capacity. This is regular hospital bed occupancy. The green line is just Navajo Nation overall. So I usually go over that. We're at under uh, 46%, uh, under this 80% um, threshold. So that's a good sign. But for, and then for ICU bed occupancy, the green line again is at 69%. So 
So we're still under this 80% threshold, and so that's um, uh, a good sign as well. Public health capacity, this is contact tracing. I'll just quickly mention this table on the right. The bottom row is Navajo Nation as a whole. We currently have about 187 contact tracers on Navajo Nation, which equates to about 13 contact tracers for every new um, daily COVID case. So that's also um, sufficient currently. We want to be above five, so we're at 13. So we're, we um, meet that gating criteria. And then last is vaccine. So these bars represent number of people fully vaccinated for all these service areas, uh, IHS and TXO uh, 638 facilities. So, you know, Shiprock with the, the most fully vaccinated folks at about almost 21,000 people. And then next is Chinle service area with about 16,800. And then next is Gallup with about 15,900 people. And then Tuba City with about 12,700 and so on. So this is um, uh, the vaccine profile um, on Navajo. And this is also, there's a, a team um, that's looking into the vaccine analytics. And so they're, uh, they're the ones who are compiling a lot of this um, data. Um, and we're trying to uh, improve uh, really our, the data uh, quality of our, our vaccination across Navajo. So um, I'm gonna stop here. And uh, I don't know, uh, Dr. Burge, do you wanna, uh, do you have any additional comments? Good morning, this is Dr. Burridge. Um, I am a, thank you, Dell, and thank you to the President and Vice President. Um, I am a pediatrician and the EPI response team lead here in Tuba City. And as Dell mentioned, I'm also co-leading the EPI and data translation team um, with Dell and the other big group people that he mentioned. Um, so I am going to talk a little bit about vaccines and then talk about the graduation um, guidelines that have been released by Navajo Nation. So in terms of vaccines, just want to emphasize, um, Dale just shared the data in terms of how many people have been vaccinated, partially vaccinated and fully vaccinated. And we are continuing to work on getting as many people vaccinated as possible. We are seeing, um, in terms of the cases that we are still seeing, we're seeing many more cases and people that have not yet been vaccinated. Um, and that's also true of people that are hospitalized. Um, it's, it's predominantly almost entirely people that are unvaccinated. Um, and so that is, you know, an extra reason to get vaccinated. We know that vaccines are both safe and effective. Um, and while they are 90 to 95% effective in preventing infection, um, they are 100, essentially 100% effective in preventing hospitalization and death, which is what um, we are all most concerned about. So um, I ask you to ask your friends and relatives um, to get themselves vaccinated if they have not been vaccinated. Um, as mentioned before, um, Great news this week is that the Pfizer vaccine um, is about to be approved for 12 to 15 year old um, kids. So if you have anyone in your household or know anyone in that age group, um, hopefully by the end of this week, we will start vaccinating um, 12 to 15 year olds, um, which is great news. Um, keep an eye out for your local health facility in terms of the information of how they're vaccinating. Um, and hopefully they'll be sharing that information widely as well. Um, so definitely, if you know anyone in this age group, 12 to 15 year olds, please um, help them get vaccinated as soon as possible. Um, this is important um, to keep them safe, but also this is going to help us um, get prepared to get our schools opened in the fall. Um, we don't want people to wait till the last minute. We want people to be fully vaccinated as soon as possible so that we can get schools open and get kids back into the classroom um, as soon as the school year opens. Um, I also wanna say congratulations to all the graduates. Um, this is a great achievement. I am going to share um, a screen um, with the vaccine or with the graduation guidelines. Hold on one second. Hold on. All right. Hopefully you guys can see um, these graduation requirements. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of words on the page. And so we are posting the link to these graduation guidelines in the chat. Um, please 
Um, check these out. It's a four-page document um, that has a lot of information. There are some cute computer glitches. Um, so hopefully you can now see the graduation guidelines document. Um, there's a link to this document in the chat. And if you forget the link or want to look for it later, it's on the Navajo Nation Department of Health website. If you scroll to the bottom, um, there's a tab to look at documents and it's under one of the latest documents. I'm going to highlight some of the major um, emphasis points of this, these guidelines. Um, so first, attendees. So who is allowed to attend these events? Um, so people should be fully or partially vaccinated um, if, to attend. If somebody is not fully vaccinated, we would recommend that they get a COVID test um, 24 to 48 hours prior to the graduation and make sure they have that negative test result before they attend. People should not attend if they are in isolation or quarantine. So if they have been diagnosed with COVID or if they've been exposed to anybody with COVID within the past two weeks. They should not attend if they are sick with any COVID symptoms, and they should not attend if they are waiting for a test result. Um, some key safety practices in all of our interactions these days, the three W's. Um, so wear a mask um, in, for the entire event of the graduation. Wash your hands frequently, either with hand sanitizer, with soap and water, and watch your distance. Uh, maintaining at least six feet of distance from people who are not in your household pod or people that you've arrived at the event with. We are asking that um, people who are organizing the event arrange for screening, um, so people to self-screen to assess for any symptoms or exposures before attending the event, and to pre-register um, virtually beforehand so that there doesn't need to be any sign-in sheets um, and people have been screened before they arrive. So. We are not allowing any food or drinks at these events, as well as no concession stands to eat and drink. People would have to take off their masks, um, which is not allowed. We want people to keep their masks on for the entire event. Um, and to avoid handshaking, um, elbow and fist bumps, or hugs with anyone who is outside your household unit or the people that arrived with you from your house. So there are two sort of categories of, of types of graduations that can happen. There's lower risk. Uh, options and moderate risk options. Um, if you look closer at the document, there's a table that describes some of these, um, but lower risk options are for kindergarten graduations and up. Lower risk options include virtual events, so things that are on Zoom or WebEx or some sort of platform there can also be streamed on Facebook or YouTube. Um, drive through or car parades, and those would be limited to 50 or less um, graduates or drive-in gatherings, and that could be up to 50 vehicles. And there's more details about what those events mean and um, some of the safety considerations for those events. 
the moderate risk category would be outdoor in-person graduations, and that could be allowed for seniors, so 12th grade graduates and college students. Uh, the limit for the number of graduates at one time would be uh, what we're calling pods of 50 graduates. So if there's more than 50 graduates in a class, they'd have to arrange to have 50 arrive at a time, um, complete the graduation, and have the next 50 arrive. This would allow a max of 40 staff members, and each graduate could have one to four guests um, per graduate. And again, there's more details on each of those um, events and sort of the guidelines for those outdoor events. Again, absolutely no indoor events. Um, we know that it's much safer to be outdoors in terms of the ventilation, um, but again, still maintaining those three W's. So wearing a mask for the entire event, washing hands and washing distance, um, maintaining at least a six feet distance. I'm sure there are a bunch of questions as well about post-graduation gathering. Um, and so normally we would gather with extended family members. Unfortunately, that's still high risk. And we are recommending that celebrations afterwards um, are restricted to the household bubble, so people who live in your household. If there are other people that you want to be involved, you could have a drive-through option um, for food or refreshment, but again, limiting the interaction, wearing masks, washing hands, maintaining distance. Um, if there is a gathering, limit it to a max of 15 persons, and ideally people from the household itself. And if at all possible, have the gathering outdoors and continue to do the three W's. So wearing masks, washing hands, and watching your distance. So no matter what the situation is, those three W's are continue to be very, very important. Um, and as a reminder, this is all um, to help protect our community and especially to protect our most vulnerable and high risk family members who also want to be part of celebration. Um, but again, congratulations on the achievement of the graduations and the graduates. Um, it is a big accomplishment, especially after a very difficult year. So um, again, reminder, um, vaccines for 12 to 15-year-olds should be available by the end of the week in each of the service units. Um, and if you would like more information on those graduation requirements, um, the link is in the chat and they're available on the Department of Health website. I will pause there. Thank you. Yet a chick a dozen there. Could go a ya, shady, prefer your father in cheer, my dish gizzing, son, twenty two in bashes chain. I don't top my edition chain, or it as chedition nulle. Could go a ya, a hit nan hitty needle left another see your gizzy do, could do, um, not kid the more do, did the more jun, na a ya, could do, me hit each jan in a hand net and lenigi. I do de the quas. Nas eight at the petty, no nas nihi at the con hina, nas dog dog, a den one neto, a nizagon that or clashing foot a ya, wings and the arquitch, nihitso dozen that eats a eight here. Ado asa ano zeno, do added that is no sign he cared or he had a betone, Hashine la ebe has an in lini he kept a horse and a cock here. Ado de con. Nihinago, Nas Doisa, and old Nisigi, Aid of Hitansni, a conde, Alcatino, a nast, a Oconella, a petatol, Nato Yego, a con, Nalca, a so atti, a co agents that don't a hapa a honosen, Ado di the quest, Nast eight are dapidi, Ninis, Quaja, the Bensa, a hot soldier, Aja a Yego, atti, what that the Nal kid, a na ado aja of the dark car, a set, no osle, aja. Nan Nesta Ultra da da ben ye, a yisabin ye, or long, or she a arjit nata, quanda arj ye got the nan hits out the nardes kidney hit the nair, or you arjit kate a hut, a ben na ba a horse yard or better a horse yard. Ado could do zeba has link at Nenny G just at Moderna with your Ado Pfizer, Ado Johnson and Johnson. Is there is in it a no eighty? Is there in Lenny G a desna at Nenny A and Nee a desna? A cotty Pfizer will yeni get in a hot chin and a kid's art that only is the art that you better hate. Bacha let all Betty A days, Nini Jaja A Bella as Lee Condessa Bellana at Le A Arja Bellana as the A Cote. Deep sea is teaching his hot hot zogo, the Slatin Hot Zogo, Arja A is there as in and Lini is his nada, and that do you nada. 
ตัวเอกตัวที่อัดอืมจากดอมจากสติน่ะอัดชินลินิปะเอเซอีปะฮอลลอดอฮะเนเอเชนนาตีคุเจเอเซอีลเอนดันลินิอาจิชีตีจิ
Tola ado atinkish etin da ado di ho wanda adat egi do con di epena le nashnish de nashanda ade go ha eskis and so aja inerne do nabits get go na aho wado kodo na wish ne a co e da ben hitcher in the hustle co o you go in the hustle do do ad and we're not going to make everybody happy. Okay, we're, we're doing the best that we can with what we have. Jo hota e kodo ba nan hini ka ado niki na ta da lini pesh ba hasa anetra na znel da jo pe bes da hasa ado o ben na da hasa kia ha ida ida zin zin o e ka akuin to el em to ba ba ho jinya do ha zad ya te ho jo hota hi e peteni kli do na has kui do. Zani, what are you in Hitchia dust? He in there has a bar of Jinya on the alleged of Kedo or Anna and Letty has a dish edgy into a hatch either a a bar at dinner. Hala dinner a bar job, but a gin, Jot and then he did nest her or honey you. A coddy hood are be the cousin Sanas eight at the honey trans knee. Ah, need a bash at the neat ed and then when the oh you go bear. Ba ohil a do ye nan hin tin. Ha ishi do ye corn tin, the do ye the potahuil a a do nasi zoom a di it a benata huil a webexta. And it had to take a pandemic to to teach us what's missing and what we need to improve on. Jo hot a konda an hin ha na slashik e do shit na ko kodoshi yaj ya hol net del yazi e aj is the el inje. The Alkahi to a yahoo net dig as it so be that the Craigi Argent the Alkan Lini he had between me or you the Inish a co a ardent con the Alkahi dig a asa and a head on which none his cart do the the Christmas is at the petal nae or a use or lega hot soja your torge the host toge ado did the pen saja arge a shant the one in his neck or the Washed in his land, dark dog, hot, a a ya, a shins, a dick, a yego, yago, and this kid dog, a dead dog, is be he, cock, or he had shik, a do shit in there. Ado di is the el and best now has uncle, a sapes of belt, a di yaj, aj, and al kid, though a belaho, co a aj, a tusk, a he, anna has a con the ado din, the al kahigi. As la neza dino at se bitino at so set a conned la ain't the alkai for no a coasa a bed in the happy tart at the arge that the nesto yeg on the alka or tato, though though urged ole et ego hashin the artist kitle. A cotti is the ahatal neido ahatal yaigi eighty, not any neja a i c arge care not any here or when no u a arge. Is it Nahatal ya by here needs in? Ado be kedo na e yachin li ha hot zoja, ado is there o you nahatal ya. Ado ta on the e nan zoja, ado keda hot ini nikito o he he. Ado kodo is there is in it a doctor burge in lay um tonanest is a jaja de e is there is in a jinne. Ash Honda here, Nan Hioka, Eddie is there in Lini and the Han at the old Nick of Naha at Neho, Ado Din Hachini, Yajina, Kit at the Tosh, at the Peda, he is there. Bella as Link, when the Eco Eddie is there is in the Dan Lini, she Aji in the Haa, a coni here is there in Embassnaz, and no Ada, she not so Adal Neto, Ado, she Akoto, Banahan Neto Le, Ado D, Yisid, Ebin Yehidi. Ak edge and now on Jesus or Chinaha that Ostra Ultra O and that old knee. Jot are in the wheat, a conde, the ultra benat an in Lini, but the ultra age is not a toy in the heart. A coedo ash hond in a chin, a job at a slay, arginat an of Lini, a job on the big ears, a mother, a jet, a job at the house now, hot are a. Ultra on the hot on the has other hole, yet has your communication, Nicky Ado Bahatten, has your babies the house net. Ado Dean, that's the old Trahin, the Rachin, or Sinny, she yashes it away. Was the bed a dart, and though she are quitted a yard and nasco, 
Old Ako aja kwa awe ka yajini ilka ohonj de ya go edi zei e apetse da ha um ha el ya do le ato ze ha el neho edi el se tes a kwa det ol ni na kita mo ha tzi cha ado aja a kajisha edi tes a kwa det ol ni ado don 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 na da kwa ol ni do e a konj do ka Adult taught at a business and a graduation taught at a year in the hotel after a hot air. Although the Cosnas ate up the hotel night, although Ajit Nanane don't harness Gago that on its seats in the Sutago A, a hotel na la a aho at the Santa. A condinia eighteen chintons there are but that is Bado. Ah, the shin is not let that hot a kiss a business and all the other has taught this is. On hit hat has a tahmino send all there. Ado the arch graduation bent the ahi, a dog a jaw at the ache chinyan, a dog that a dog chinyan, the readers that have bound the honey, the eight or dog done his neck, or dog is the eight in the donut, ah, lenny. Ado hashine la eighty, um, arch the beat the has down told Tahanini, eight. A do kodong a a teh a konde e a a shlatin chidibi gaha. A konde a do do na da e se ni ilta da o yu chidibi ha na da ipi hon hil na da jihle. Konde jo e shi ni hi na ha na nas la an hi pa a kwa shiyan do pa a kwa na sin. A do di bi kye do e da a da ha ni se chiyan da do di kwa e pa a kwa shiyan a di ni hi yajin hi e we in tkha ha ni ni. A a ho wa de a na haz a ni da o din sa na e a ni hit e ya ish la a da mis e do ya go do e o o yu de ne ish khan ish do li sa a do ba a da as si ki da te ya a do a a shin shin a ho wa de nte ni hit shin do ni ze a ba da da is ba la shin wa ta ba a ho si ya ko a ni hin a khan na sla shik e do shin na ko do ni hin a ta a ni ni it a Ako, once ago, a kodo, um, banata ho seal net do, a he had none hit eat needle, a kodo, a net hata of kissy do, kodja nata of kissy, a she in new or when you ain't zad in the kashik edo shit ne, a do kodo ho one the sheen, but the hosato, nihit the nebby key at the sheen, but the hosan, the hashto it ado let. Nijono en his nahuito a nasco net nij e he na ta is tinto le shik edo shik ne condensad na hahidon za ne ha ta akisi eta ata hosia kode e ya at ehon na ha ta do ya at ehon nte krenichido ad eta ata hosia do ha ta inos ne to es hatsota to zen o yu kodan ta hos ne to nihin he o inis a ata te. Ze ben hagajito, ado hat hashi da da nosle, ado nal sos da da te no ahi, a he he, o when no you e kodoso da da zendona nikita hot e kodona hatso deal zem, though yo in he ni nini benina hot on hitch had hard eight ze, though ya at echo ain't his nahuito after e a ra a la ho e ye so hot on. Nti ill keshik edo shid ne nasa dashkait edo leh jo o huin zin kodo amma jil no amma jil no amma yaj jil no at a in ti ill kesa at a a kwande ye go at a at a hot yashik edo shid ne ko kon sa ko shi kodo an hich e kana ta si zi do at a na ta hot yado leh do yo ta ahinan nishik edo shid 